Hello, my people. Hello, my hello, everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. You're welcome to Big Eating Program this week. Victoria, yay, Tunde. So, you guys, I'm so sorry. Last week, I couldn't make the video because I was so, so busy. This week, I'm busy, but I just decided ah, I must make this video. It's very important. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I am making a video. So, this video, this week, it's not going to be much fun. And thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And as you guys, you know, if you don't know people, you guys will not subscribe, you will not comment. <clears throat> I will go carry us to big level too, so people will be commenting on our page and liking our page too. Oh. <laughs> so, today's video is just about if I'm going to be talking about fashion today. As you all know, I'm a fashion designer. The name of my brand is Vicky Fashion Mall. Yeah, Vicky Fashion Hall. No more. <laughs> So today's video is all about equipment you need to start a fashion business. Yeah, the equipment you need that to start an uh, your fashion business. First thing I'm going to be talking about today is, and before I get there, if you've not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you all know I love you so much. I always do. So thank you so much. So the first thing we're going to be talking about about the equipment needed. For you before you open your YouTube, uh, sorry, <laughs> before you open your fashion business, actually, so first thing you need to know, so first thing you need to have is your sewing machine, very very important. Mm, that's most important thing of all because this is what you you are you're going to use to pass, to sew that clothes. <laughs> so that's the first thing you need to get. You need to get a good sewing machine. It's not much you go for. Um, what do they call it? Light and um, electric machine. Is it electric or I think they do. Um, I want to remember what they say. Light machine. But the one that use the color lights. <laughs> the one that they plug with light. I forget what they are calling it. Right? So it's not much you get that. You can get manual machine like I say manual like normal machine that you can be using your like that's what i'm using it's just that you bring more normally light machine a bit and um, electric machine it's good to soak clothes because it makes your work neater and all of that good it's nice but if you cannot afford it just afford what you can just buy what you can afford and get get started start from somewhere i've not buy my own a light machine like no money yet but the one i'm using when you see my clothes you know you will even say that oh this is a, uh, did i use light machine and i pray that god will provide like and it depends on the shop you want to open if you want to start small like me just want to start you can just buy a normal machine and start using make your work neat but if you want to start with a big uh, a shop and all of that you can just buy your light machine maybe a little may not so much just buy like say, six five so just to start up your business and the next one you are going to go for is tape through tape measure <laughs> we call it a blue yeah <laughs> tape measure you need there are different kind of tape measure honestly there are different kind of tape measure you need to be careful on what which one you use i would like i would advise to use a good tape use a good tape to do your work really it's going to help you this thing because there are some people you measure someone and when the person be like oh my mom care like i measure <laughs> like i measure the person <laughs> so it's just something i'm just joking actually so but second one is get a, a good and the top one is chalk yeah there are different kind of chalk there are some chalk that you buy the mouth is very thick and there are some one tiny i would advise you to buy the tiny one because when you buy the bigger one it will spoil your chalk and you will not even get to know the chalk line for you to get the bigger one you should be a good fashion designer because sometimes it may be it may throw a bomb in your face you just cut rubbish 
So be careful on the chunk you use. Then the next one is scissors. Mm -mm. Scissors is the most important one. There are some scissors that is light and there are some scissors that is very heavy. The heavy one for me is too heavy. When, when you carry it, depending, you look at my hand. So when I first start, I, I want to do it, Gara. I want to go and buy the bigger one. So it's almost wound me for my hand this bit. It's peeling my hand. So it may work for you, but it doesn't work for me. I use the light one. I, I forgot to be heat, but don't worry. You go to market and get the light one. It's really good for your work. You need to get a good scissor. There are different kind of scissors. There are scissors for zigzag scissors. There are one for straight. There are one just get any every one that you can afford. It makes your work neat. Then the next one is pin and needle yeah you need to get pin for needle for the machine and their size 18 16 there are different kind of sizes you need to ask people the one that your own machine is using my own is using size six, size 18 actually so you need to get the good needle you know there are some needle that come um, before you use it like it does here pa 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 <laughs> so there are some spoil that you use that is not good for uh, so you need to get good I think pH or I can't remember the name but get a good needle and I'm needle to safety pin office pin everything is good for fashion designer because you need to pick especially if you're a starter you're a beginner you need office pin safety pin to hold your clothes so you're not going to get basic so you're not going to hold people money for clothes you know there are some clothes, you know, that, are some clothes that is educated so not come and hold person clothes so get a good um uh, get a hand you do office paint safety thing that's good for your business then the next one is get a good cutting table honestly good cutting you know when you're cutting clothes when your table is too small your back will take I mean like this sometimes i cut clothes in the floor it's i get used to be that when I start off, my back is always paying me. So, get a good table machine. <laughs> get a good cutting table, honestly. It's really, really good. So, it, it makes your work neater. And good table that I'm talking about, cutting table, I'm talking about, the edge should be smooth. There are some table. There was one table my mom made for me when I first started. The table is rough like this. What I want to ask me, manage it, manage it, put it, because it's so rough you need to get a smooth stable machine that is going to make your work neater and that is going to when you are cutting you do not you not be putting you not be entering the inside of the table you know there are the table that will have a uh, you know i don't know what to call it so that what what i'm trying to say is make it like the height should be okay the table should be smooth the height should be okay everything should be nice and the next one is iron iron table Iron table normally every fashion designer used uh, the table they used to cut clothes to, to iron table. But normally you need to have different for both of them. For cutting clothes different or iron should be different. But for me that's what I use. But when I got money and I open shop, I'm going to use <laughs> have the two. But the next one is a good iron. Honestly, a good iron is very very important for a fashion designer. A high no. There was a time my iron spoiler though. I had to go and buy another one. Ooh. <laughs> and iron is very close down. I bought one high no. Thank you. Look at So it's something that you need to work on. Buy a good iron. Buy a good iron. It's very, very important in fashion designer. <laughs> so get a good iron, please. A good iron is very very important for the fashion design. there's no fashion designer that will tell me like not using higher for possibly is that is before 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 you be putting clothes to the side in the machine but now iron is very important you will make your work more neat and the last one that so the last one i'm going to be talking about is good lights as a fashion designer you need to get a good light maybe in nigeria that you are like me and her light is not good you can get a good generator that is going to work for iron work for sewing machine and different kind of get a good a good light is very very important because it's very important for a fashion designer you cannot start a fashion designer without a good light anyway so thank you so much for watching my youtube channel i love you guys so much you all know i do and thank you so, so much if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe i love you guys so much see you